it's, you're going to get a message about this. That's weird. It's only right there and does not look like a fucking <gasps> look at that confirmation. It looks like, you know, there's a white line. It looks like right when you would sign, sign on the dotted line or the white on the line, there's her signature, right? And like the X marks a spot, you know, when you're signing paperwork. And that's funny because it's at the top. Somebody did this. This is the spirit way of, of telling me that somebody signed your name, forged your name on a fucking signature. Or, or for um, uh, forged your signature on, on um, an inheritance. And it was your karmic family. Or somebody you considered to be family. But you're protected, okay? You're going to get a message about this. And I feel like they, your karmic ass family was trying to block. They were stealing paperwork too. Um, they are stealing your mail. But I feel like they could be ones that are in your phone too. Um, yeah, and they're like, they're, they're, they're letting you get whatever messages and emails that you want to get. They get it first. And then, you know what I mean? They're, the cops know about all this. They've been under investigation for quite some time. Yeah, you moved away or you're about to be moving away. And you God, look, God moved you out the way. Look, we have 666. You uh, realign your, your, uh, your, you know, maybe they're realigning their thoughts to a higher perspective or they fucking need to because they're caught. It could definitely be a Scorpio, a Leo, and a Aquarius. That's, that's, they're in devilish energy for sure. They're going to hell for sure for what they've done to you. I'm strongly picking that up, but you see how the six of uh, swords went right over top of the seven of um, I mean, not the seven, but the tower. I mean, right? You God moved you out the way to protect you, the, the to protect you. He moved you out the way because you know he knew what these people were planning for you chaos, destruction of people, mayhem. All right, so he moved you out of rough water into smooth sailing here on out. He realigned 666 also means it realigned your thoughts to a higher perspective. So God moved you out the way and, and put you in like hermit mode possibly and healed you and realigned your thoughts to a higher perspective as to why this is all happening or why it happened, you know, and everything else. And it's helping you blossom into this beautiful butterfly that you truly are. All right, and you're about to spread your wings and, and fly away to where you would like to soar to and you're coming out of this rough water into beautiful smooth sailing here or now there could also be karmic family that's trying to run they're trying to outrun this karma they're getting caught there could have been a car accident you could have had a car accident they plan they plot and plan that that was their way of trying to unalive you i feel like somebody's about to get into a car accident as their karma somebody from your past with the way or something about a boat accident or something like some there could be an accident on the like a boat or something or a car accident or something someone could crash into a building or a house or something like that something like that's happening i don't fucking know y'all let me know it could be a king of cups but you're getting a message you're about to move away okay you're about to move even if you move i feel like you're about to move again um Hmm. Okay. You're about possibly I mean either maybe when you might be moving and when you move you might find meet your king of cups, okay? They wanna they might be I have a job offer. You might be they might be offering you a job first or something like that, or want to work with you, or you're gonna get a raise or a proposal or something like that. And this could talk about a job offer though. And I'm sure again maybe that's what's what's gonna happen here. You might move and then meet your divine counterpart. You're going to get some sort of like raise or proposal or something that's going to help you get out of this, you know, this blessing that you're getting. Um, you're going to be able to move. And I feel like you might end up meeting your divine counterpart when you move. And it might start off as like a job offer or like a co-worker or something like that. And it's going to turn into more, all right? Some about you're going to get a message or, or something about a house, a foundation. Um... But they know who you are. They know you're the empress. You know, you're very creative. You're, whether you're masculine or feminine, right? You're very creative. You're very fertile. Everybody has both energies. But they see you as this loving, nurturing, caring, divine being that you are. Um, 
and how creative and very fertile you are you're going to get some sort of quick communication that they want to come into union with you yeah and you're about to be in this king of pentacles energy if you're not already i feel like confirmation you i feel like your um divine counterpart is already in this king of pentacles energy i feel like they're already you know set in their, like they're already well off but you're rapidly progressing in whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts or spiritual leader you use your gifts for the good and you're you're getting some sort of spiritual upgrades and i got these fucking losers all boohoo crying in grief, pain, sorrow, agony, because they're not a part of this, and they're going to fucking prison, and I'm strongly getting, they didn't realize that you're the spiritual leader, they knew you were intuitive, but they didn't realize how fucking intuitive you truly are, how tapped in, how you knew their fucking moves before they were making them, you just were very smart, you listened to your intuitive, um, guidance, okay, um, God told you to just keep your lips sealed, and let them, let these idiots play their role, um, and just, you play your role, and you did that, and you did it so gracefully, and now the, you let these people catch themselves up in their own fucking web that they tried to set for you. The trap they tried to set you, the web that they, they, they fucking created, they tried to set you in to trap you in, they got trapped up in their own fucking spider web, their own web of lies, deceit, chaos, destruction of people and mayhem, and they're going to prison for this. They thought they were a fucking mastermind, they were, no. They're, they're stupid as shit. You knew their moves before they did. They're, they're idiots. But you just played your part very smart, very wise, very angelically, too, because you didn't go back. You didn't do nothing you should have. I mean, I mean, you could have, but, I mean, you had every right to. Yeah, you definitely had every fucking right to. But you listened to your inner guidance, and no matter how hard it was not to put your hands on somebody for the things that they've done to you and your loved ones, especially for what they did to your loved one that passed away, um... You know, and then all the chaos, you know, how they purposely caused you chaos. They tried to take your life multiple times. You still didn't clap back because even though you wanted to, don't get me wrong, you wanted to. You had every fucking right to, but you were told not to. And you're given this, you know, guidance to do what you did exactly how you did it. And you, you pass with flying colors. You pass with flying colors and you allow these idiots to think, you know, you dumbed it down. Like as as you should, you don't. That's what you gotta do with people nowadays. So let's not forget to give God, Jesus, the angels, ancestors, loved ones have passed away for all that they do for us. Okay, guys, and thank God for our fucking gifts. Okay, because our gifts guide us out of um, well, God guide us out of uh, you know glory to you know to the Most High first and foremost to everything. Because we wouldn't have these gifts, we wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for God. And thank you, God, for the, our gifts. Okay, because it saved us from our reckoning, from them trying to, our own family, or people we considered to be family, that should have never even had that fucking title in the first place, because they were everything but that. Fucking scumbags, bro. They're scumbags. Like, below scum. But look, 666, you already know what that is, too. That's where these people are going. They're going to hell. But we have realigned our, our thoughts to a higher perspective found and listened to our inner wisdom, our guidance. And, um, you know what I mean? We did things the right way. They did everything completely wrong. We passed every single test with flying colors while they failed every single test. Every single one. They didn't even, like, get the points for, like, putting your name on it because they're too busy signing other people's names. <laughs> Dumbasses. Am I missing something here? You're very powerful. You're very good looking, yeah. Because you're standing in your power too, and you're standing on business. You're you're sitting on your throne, you know, with your with your crown cocked like a whole fucking spiritual G. And you you know you're staying in your power, um, which is very powerful. You're getting this good luck and fortune, and you're exposing these people. They're caught. So keep talking about it, guys. Okay, because you're exposing them, and it's just showing their and keep showing up. It's very important. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. Don't allow these fucking scumbags and whatever their little childish antics are to to stop you, block you, and to trick you out of your spot. All right. Just like when I was having that, yeah, like it took me out for a little bit because I was trying to fucking let that upload until I finally realized, like, what if it doesn't upload? And like, I just want to get another reading out for you guys. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and keep going. But yeah, your what your ships are coming in. You're planning your whole new world. The whole new world. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and the ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? 
or do they need to be aware of it this time? Please, thank you. Oh, and look, six plus four, that's ten. So ten, ten. Completion, end of a, um, end of a cycle. And then also ten, ten there too. Another ten. Look, so six plus four is ten, so that's ten, ten. Completion, end of a cycle. Ten, ten. Completion, end of a cycle. And they're under heavy fucking judgment for what they did to you, and they're heavily burdened about this. And six plus four, that's ten. Look, six plus four, that's ten. Six, four, ten. So ten, ten. Completion end of a cycle. Six plus four, ten. Plus ten is end of a cycle. And then you even do the ten here this way and ten this way. They're completely done. When I tell you it, it's over, it's a wrap, it's a fucking over. It's a wrap because God stepped in. It's in God's hands. God ain't playing with these fools. It could be a couple or an ex that's, that's, that's under heavy judgment. You're about to get some sort of quick communication. About that, Holy Spirit, find yeah, they're about to hear that knock that you know, that police knock, though, that like real knock that you know, well, you know, it is, it's not something like that, <laughs> but they're gonna get that real loud knock. I don't know why, but I'm getting a globe. Maybe you're gonna be traveling around like the world. I'm just seeing like a globe. I'm just picturing my dad. I had this picture of my dad, and he had like it was one of my favorite pictures of him. He had um, a, a globe in his hand, and he had it, like over his head, and he was smiling like all big. I don't know why. And when I'm looking at that, like the Pluto thing, I'm just thinking I just got a picture of my dad smiling. Oh, because you had the world all over your head. Like you know what I mean? You're you got the um the um. You know, you're lifting the world off your shoulders. Like, what, what? Damn, what is it saying? I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, these people, your karmic family, they abuse their power to steal this. They signed your fucking shit, and anybody they worked with, okay, you're gonna get a message. If they're if they're under heavy judgment about them fucking, you know, whatever they did to you. Their ships ain't coming in. What they thought that they were gonna do to steal these people from your past, their ships ain't coming in. Fuck no. Anybody that worked together with them and somebody that worked with these people that abused their power, somebody that worked with your karmic family that abused their power, somebody in the justice system to help you, st to help them steal your inheritance, they're helping you now and they're coming forward, but they're, not, they're working with the police now. It was somebody that worked with your family in power and it's like a cop or a lawyer, or a judge, somebody they're turning on your, on your family. Or, or this karmic family and they're coming yeah and look and if you put five plus three it's eight plus two that's ten so there's ten 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 it's over dude when i tell you it's over it's over yeah you're manifesting your whole new world and they're trying to they're caught they're caught they're trying to sacrifice you too oh let's ask this one go Sacrifice or love. Um, this is definitely your ex. I forget how that song goes. Damn it. Willing to sacrifice or love. This is your fucking ex. Maybe it's your ex that's, that was working with him that's coming forward with the information. Willing to sacrifice. I forget how that song goes. I've seen it happen all the time. I forget how it goes. But you're, fan you're, you're manifesting, okay? Somebody try to sacrifice you, too. They're doing some sort of sacrificial, sacrificial ritual. It's your ex, for sure. They're trying to... I don't know, but you're, you're manifesting these idiots getting caught. Alright? And you're getting this love offer coming in. Your cup's going to be overflowing with love. Damn it, how does that song go? Willing to sacrifice Um... I forget. You know what I'm talking about, probably. Back from like the 80s or 90s or some shit. Old classic rock song. But yeah, look. Now, you're getting justice, okay? You're single, self-sufficient, independent. And this fucking Libra is passing away, I'm telling you right now. So there's a feminine Libra that's been coming up against you that's passing away. You're getting your justice. You're single, self-sufficient, independent. And there's 
you're going to get a message about somebody. Um, I feel like it's supposed to go this way. I feel like it's supposed to go that way. And you're getting justice for this inheritance. You're going to get a message from somebody. I'm telling you right now. And there's, a, there's somebody from your past that's, you know, they're in deep emotional pain about you having your sword up, everything being balanced out to you, and you're seeing whatever chaos, destruction of people, mayhem that these put these people have put you through is, you're going to get a generous blessing from that too, and that's going to also make you single, self-sufficient, independent, but you, although you already are, okay, and you're, um, you're getting some sort of crazy ass fucking, you're getting a major payout from the justice system, because I feel like, yeah, somebody in, in the justice system, they abuse their power to steal this inheritance, all right, well, you're going to be suing whatever part of that department, that, the, whatever that is, possibly, for some of you. But I feel like you don't even need to, like, honestly, <laughs> because there's so many other people that's, like, it's a whole group, cult club and secret society. I mean, I would just leave the justice system out of it. <laughs> don't even sue them. Like, <laughs> they're the one that's going to, well, you know what I mean? Maybe that individual, but I wouldn't sue the justice system. They're the ones bringing you justice. Yeah, there was somebody that abused their power, but you don't need to sue them. You could if you want to. I mean, it's up to you, but there's, it's really pointless. I would like rather have the justice system still keep their money to to, to um, employ better officers or better, um, you know, people, you know. But you could, some of you may be, um, I don't fucking know. But for me personally, I wouldn't sue the justice system. Just let them keep their money because you're going to be suing these people, everybody that worked together with them. And you're already getting this amazing amount of money that was left to you, let alone the blessings that you're getting from the other people that you're suing and also from whatever they put you through, plus your spiritual gifts. Remember, you're getting a generous blessings from that, too. So you don't really need to like that. You know, you really don't need to. Um, you know what I mean? We have three, three, two, two. I mean, you can if you want to. I mean, that's completely up to you. Uh, we actually have two, two, two. I mean, if you want to, do whatever you want to fucking do. I mean, I ain't your fucking, I ain't your mama. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I personally, I would just let the justice system keep their money so that they can employ better whatever, whoever it is. You know what I mean? And to help other people bring justice to, to their loved ones. But whatever, whatever you want to do. All right, you're very powerful. You're very strong. You're very powerful. You're very loving. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. All right. There's also a Leo energy here that you're getting justice for. That now is they're very they're very butt hurt and crying because they remember how loving, nurturing, and caring you were um, to them always. How much love you had to them. I feel like this is somebody that you considered to be family at one point, and they treated you like shit. Now they can't sleep and like because they know that you know that they stole from you. Um, they thought that 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 you would never find out they were part of this. Yeah, you fucking been doing about this, all right? And they're very nervous because what they stole from you, they're going to prison for. And um, they were also involved in trying to unalive you too. Now they're praying that they're praying that you would like, you know, that you take them back and that you don't find out that it was them. You know that it was them. They're working hard to have you in grief, pain, sorrow, agony, and get you to walk away from your purpose, but that's not happening. You're in your purpose. You're a spiritual leader. You're extremely gifted. You're extremely intuitive. You use your gifts for the good, and you're getting some sort of spiritual upgrades. And you're also, like, you know, you're rapidly progressing with your spiritual gifts, and it's putting you this King of Pentacles energy, and there's a King, there's a king of Pentacles and a King of Cups. You know, you're very, and you're very loving, very nurturing, very caring individual, and um, everybody sees this. You get some sort of job or offer or something like that. The justice system might even fucking offer you a job. Shit, you might take the job of whoever this was. This off or whoever this was that fucking abused their power. I don't know who it is. It's like a lawyer or a judge or like an officer or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's a painful permanent ending though. Yep, and you're getting this pa they're trying to make a painful permanent ending to your new beginnings. That's not happening because you're getting this. It's a painful permanent ending to them. Okay, you're getting this passion in new beginnings and it's ultimate wish fulfillment. You're getting good luck and fortune and you're it's nothing but happiness, joy, abundance, vitality, spirituality, everything. You know, um, you're exposing these fucking losers too. You're planning your whole new world. They totally know this. They're being watched for all their plans that they had for you. Guys, can we get the like? the likes up please and thank you please hit the like button please and thank you
What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. They can't sleep at night. They're sending you some sort of psychic attacks, too. It's not working. They wanted you to be, like, up all night, boohoo crying. They're also crying because they know their ships ain't coming in. They know they're going to prison for what they did. They're heavily, heavily burdened. Heavily fucking burdened. And in deep emotional pain. And they're all fighting with each other. Because they're all caught. They're all caught because of one million percent is towards truth that's come out. That's why. About all the illusions they cast in. Why you walked away. And how you're in your purpose. How you walked away from these fucking losers that were smiling in your face. Tapping your back. Trying everything they could to block you. Stop you. To unalive you. You know, the one million percent is towards truth has come out about everything. About everything. And they're done. You're in your purpose. Okay. And... When you're in your purpose, that's why I always urge you guys, I urge everybody, if you're not in your purpose, to get in your purpose. Because when you're in your purpose, it's like immediate karma for these people. Especially if they're attacking your purpose. You know, and this is when it gets the ball spinning even faster, so much faster, because you're in your purpose doing what God sent you here to do. So your justice is so much quicker. Yup. You're fucking ex and these people that came in with this false ass cup of love is really a cup of poison. This is like your your like if you resonate with the with the twin flames, this is your false flame. Now for those of you who don't, because everybody does not have a twin flame, twin flames are very rare. Um, but for those of us who do have one, you know, this is like that. For, I mean, for the ones who don't resonate with the twin flames, it's like your like you know, this is that person that came in that you thought was your everything. You're, they were sent in, okay, they were sent in by the main person that, um, that stole this inheritance. They were sent in to give you this false ass cup of love, all right? Somebody's name could begin with a W or a M or a T. This could be yours or theirs or somebody involved or a past on loved one that's speaking to me or speaking to me and through me for you. Harry, I just heard a name, Harry. That could be your name, passed on loved ones or somebody involved. Yeah, they're very butthurt about you know, your strength and your power and you being single self sufficient. Well, yeah, you, you being in your bag, having, you know, being um, very reliable, very responsible, um, and having absolutely no money issues whatsoever. You're single self sufficient and independent, and if you're not, you're about to be. And they're under heavy judgment for what they did to you. And there's something about they're poisoning you. They put food. I mean, they put, um, okay, food. They put drugs or, like, they, they put drugs and um, poison your food. They're under heavy judgment for this. They're heavily burdened about this because the truth has come out about this. They were giving you something in your drinks or your food that was supposed to take your life. It was supposed to give you a heart attack or something. It didn't because of God. Thank God. Yeah, you have this eternal fucking strength and power. It could have been a Leo. I'm strongly getting my left ears ringing. A Leo also tried to drug you and poison you many of times. Same with your ex. And then there's also a Libra that did this to you. And this is that Libra that she's passing away from her heart. Something to do with her heart. Yeah. This whole group, whole coven, secret society, whatever the fuck this is, you're protected from them. They're being watched by the feds or CIA, ATF, NSA. I don't fucking know. Somebody, somebody you don't want no problems with. I'll tell you that. Not just the authorities. I'm talking about, like, not just, like, your local authorities. I'm talking about the big boys. The ones you don't, like, the men in black and shit. Like, ones you don't want no sauce with. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Homeland Security, U.S. Marshals. Somebody you don't want no fucking problems with. Okay? But trust me, they want all the sauce. <laughs> and they're going to get it. <laughs> Fuck them up. Fuck them. Look, nine plus one. That's ten. There's ten, and then ten again. Completion. Another. This is over, bro. When I tell you it's over, it's over. They're done, and they know it too. Then three plus three. That's six. So six, 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 four, six in a row. You're constantly surrounded by God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, loved ones passed away, and ascendant master. You are a ascendant master reincarnated. These people are fucking idiots. The fuck they thought this was. And you're heavily protected from these idiots. 
Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, all that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Yeah, they didn't steal shit. They thought they did. They thought they did. Whatever they thought they stole, this inheritance thing, get away with shit. They're under heavy judgment for this attempt. And them trying to attempt to take your life, too. And they're fucking hella nervous because they know the justice system knows everything. And they're nervous because that's why this, whoever abused their power um, in the justice system, they're losing their job. They're, they're working with you now. 23 is definitely very, very much so significant. Some 23 that abused their power. And we have 333. Three, three. Somebody's last name can be Jordan. I was just thinking 23, Michael Jordan. Michael could be somebody's name. Somebody can be uh, a 33 degree Mason or 32 degree Mason. Yeah, you're going to ultimately wish fulfillment, though, and they're all nervous about that, too. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, all the past way. What is the outcome of the situation, please, and thank you. Thank you. We got the Queen of Pentacles, darn deep emotional pain about your finances being um, balanced out and you being this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, you healed from whatever this was. You've been praying, and all your prayers and your hard work has been, you've been praying hard, okay, hard body praying. Your hard work and your prayers are are, um, are coming through, okay, and your patience. Your prayers, your patience, and your, your hard work is all paying off, okay, because you're getting this. You've been praying, and God's answering you, and it's got, they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony about your um, spiritual gifts, and you're getting these upgrades, you're rapidly progressing, them going to prison, and all your hard work and pay is paying off. I mean, no, you're tapped all the way in. And you know everything that they did to you. Oh, somebody's unable to spy on you no more. Your dumbass ex. Probably because they're in jail. Or maybe they passed away. I don't fucking know. We have the page of swords in the reverse. Over top of the... The um, ace of cups in the reverse. So it's definitely your ex. They can't spy on you no more. They're very careless. Very defensive. Um... Very impatient, they're idiots. <laughs> um, they, you know, they, they, they take action on, on fucking ideas without, like, I mean, you know, they have stupidest ideas with no action, without action. All right, but you have this uh, solid love ball for coming in, it's part of your justice. We have 333 three, three again, and 222. Two, two. Wasn't there another three here? your outcome guys yeah and they see you look they're, they're, they're coming with a solid love offer they see you as a very loving nurturing caring divine being that you truly are all right and you're getting this passionate new beginnings it's a gift from god can't be stolen it can't be taken um and you're a spiritual leader extremely gifted so is your divine counterpart these are both spiritual leaders extremely gifted okay extremely powerful and you are protected and you're protected from this fucking group whole coven secret society whatever this is because they're being watched by the authorities and there's some sort of protection order here you might not be aware of it right now because, like, again, if they're investigations, if they're still investigating or whatever, you know what I mean? They just haven't said anything, okay? Because they know they're in your phones. They know what they're doing, so they can't just come forward. They, can, they, they don't want to blow their cover, you know what I mean? But they are protecting you from the secret, like, in, you know, in secret. They're, they are, they're keeping an eye on you. We have two, 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 two again. And it's a complete look. It's a completion's end of a cycle. They're exposed. You're getting good luck in karma. They're getting bad karma. And you're planning your whole new world. There's another two. How many ten tens did we have come out? When I tell you this is fucking over, it's over. It's insane. Their evil eye and your happiness, your joy, your abundance. All right. Yeah, and you're going to ultimate wish fulfillment. And they're trying. Here's another ten. They're trying to fucking, um, they're trying to make a painful permanent ending to your protection. But that's not happening. I mean, to your wish fulfillment. That's not happening. You're protected. And the devil's even protecting you, okay? You got to know that it does not mean that you fucking uh, work with the devil. Absolutely not. That just means that God has the devil protecting you. And um, so, yeah, but you do not work with the devil. All right. There's also the devil protecting you. And I'm telling you right now, it's, it, the devil's coming to collect a soul. 
or a couple, quite a few of souls, because we got the Ten of Swords here, to the Devil, to the fucking, to the, um, Four of Pentacles, that's the Devil coming to collect, and these fucking losers are left out in the cold, while you, they see you as this beautiful divine being, uh, being you are, you're definitely one million percent a healer, with the Star card, and, um, the Four of Swords, you're definitely a healer, you're definitely a healer, all your prayers and everything, and your hard work's paying off, okay, you're, I feel like you're going to be, like, you're, you're a head, you're a very strong, powerful healer, too. Very, very, very much so. You could be a shaman or have shaman, like, you might not even realize this yet. But you're a very powerful healer. You're very connected to, um, Mother Earth, like, you know, with Mother Nature, Mother Earth, you know. With your, um... Yeah, that's beautiful. But yeah, your hard work and everything's paying off. You're getting justice, okay? Just know that for a fact. These people are going to fucking down, 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 down. And some of them are going all the way down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the devil's coming to collect. But, alright guys, I'm tired. Until next time. Remember, ow. Remember, God loves you, so do I spread love, not hate, always. And please do not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, loved ones passed away, the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation. Because they're moving mountains for us and getting ready to rain down miracles on us, alright? Something's very significant about a fuck Aquarius, because this Aquarius is sticking out like heavy to me right now. But anyway. Yeah, um, if you did not hit that like button, please hit that like button. What are you waiting for? It's right there. Please hit share. <laughs> if you like to share it, you don't have to, but if you like to, you can. And please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put a message out there for you guys. And yeah, the, and, um, and the subscription is for free, guys. You don't have to pay for the subscription. Um, because one, somebody commented on, on there saying that, um, you know, they can't subscribe because they don't have money. Subscribing is for free. It's right. It's that button right there where it says subscribe, hun. It's free. You don't have to pay for that. Um, and, but thank you guys. If you'd like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information's in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom over with all of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so and to everybody who has been and for the super thanks and the memberships and everything else thank you guys i absolutely love you and even just for the likes the comments and the shares and the subscribes dude i truly 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 appreciate each and every one of you these are absolutely amazing i have the best subscribers in the world um and i absolutely truly love and appreciate each and every one of you um god bless your beautiful souls all right have a good night Good night, sweet dreams. I'm going to bed. <laughs> God bless. <laughs>